Hello there, Mrs. Elke here. Today I'm drawing with Ella. Ella and Ella and I did a drawing and a coloring project of tiger, a tiger. A tiger. And she wanted to do kind of a fancy tiger. This one is crouching <laughs> down. Hers I, apparently is crouching down in anger. Mine is just stretching and yawning because he just woke up from a nice nap. So these are our tigers. And uh, yeah, kind of a, a tricky one, but we are always up for a good challenge. So see if you can make some cool crouching tigers as well. And uh, yeah, follow us on our YouTube channel. We would love to have you and show you more of these fun video tutorials. All right, thanks so much for watching and enjoy. We are making a stretching tiger, and so to do that, we're going to start by making this kind of curved line. It's going to be, let's see, a little bit above halfway up the page, okay? And it's going to curve like this, and then go down like that. Yep. And then at the bottom, I'm going to add a little bump, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Next, in the back here, I'm going to go out just a little bit and then make kind of a loop like that. Good. Now I'm going to make that look like a snake. So I'm going to make another line that follows the one that I just did all the way around until the end. And that will be the tiger's tail. Good. Then I'm gonna go about straight down from my curve and I'm gonna start right about here and I'm going to try to kind of copy this shape so the same angle as the top, kind of like that. Okay, so yeah, start, maybe start a little farther down, like down here, and then see if you can kind of go to about there. Good. All right, now we need to throw some back legs in here. And to do that, I'm going to kind of make a dot that goes just down from the tail over here. So I'm gonna leave some space in between the two, so yours would be kind of right about there. Yep, and I'm gonna make a curved line that goes down to that dot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll do this. Curve line. Don't worry, we'll turn that into a strike later. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it's going to come over like this. We're going to hook it back like that. So can you hook yours back? The tail? This part right here. Yep. Not all the way to the tail. Yep. And then it'll go forward like that. So down to right about there. Good. Next, I'm going to make this try it flat across. That's going to be the bottom of his paw. Make that flat across. Okay. And then it's going to curve a little bit up. Like that. Yep. It'll follow the same line as the back of the leg here. Mm-hmm. And then it's going to Curve to the front like that. So curve it to the front like that. And then it's going to come up into the body like that. So maybe uh, maybe go all the way up to your dot right there. That's perfect. Good. Okay. Now we're going to do the front legs, which are not as complicated as the back legs. So the front legs are just going to be a long diagonal line and then to the paw that's flat. So long diagonal line, and then the paw that's flat. Can you add a little paw? Shoop. And here I can show you. So that's like the little paw right there. Yeah. You go a little farther, and then make the little hook for the paw. Okay. All right. Now before we do the front part, we I want to work on the the head a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to make the nose of the tiger come out like that. And then it's going to go down just a little bit like that. 
It's gonna go back in pretty much straight across like that. Then I'm gonna make a backwards J. So I'm gonna go down and over like that. Make a backwards J. Good. And now I'm going to hook that around like this. I'm gonna go down and up like that. And then I'm going to attach it to the front leg like that. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little hook right here to make the tiger's ear. So that'd be down here, yep. Droop. Yep. And I'm going to start by the mouth here and kind of hook up like this to make part of the uh, whisker area. We can even stick some little dots in there so you know those are the little tiger's whiskers. Yep. We'll make a triangle on the end for the tiger's nose. Right here on the corner. And then we're gonna add a line that goes from the nose up to where the eye would be. So it kind of starts, I hope it starts up by the nose, it comes up here, and then your eye is gonna be kind of right in there. So connect the eye all the way over to the nose. There you go. And then we're gonna make the bottom part of the eye like that. Good, and the eyeball is gonna be hanging off the top part of the eye like that. That's okay, that's where all the little dots go. Okay, make a little eyeball hanging down. And now we'll make it look like a tiger, okay? All right, I'm gonna make a line that connects this part right here all the way down to right about here, okay? We'll make it work. All right, so this line up here where the leg is is gonna connect down to this line right here. So we're gonna draw a line that connects down like that, okay? And then I'm going to draw a line that goes down like this from the mouth, like that, and then it'll connect down to your line for the leg, yep. Good, you can add another leg that's kind of hiding behind this one. All right, and then we're need, we need to make a second back leg too. So I'm gonna make lines that follow the same as the back leg, like that. Yep, good, look at you go. Now we can't have a tiger unless it has stripes, right? So we gotta add some stripes. So I'm gonna start with the tail, cause that's the easiest. And we have black on the tip of the tail and then we have stripes going all up the tail with black. So I can do any stripes? So you can do whatever stripes you want all the way up the tail of the tiger. Yep. Then we're gonna do stripes that go down from the top part of the back. So We'll do these stripes that come down. They almost look like teeth. They come down on the back like that. So I'm just gonna keep making a bunch of those all along the back of the tiger. They always start at the top and then work their way down. Good. Before I add more stripes, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the head here, and I'm gonna make a line that goes up to where the ear is, and then over like that, because that's all white. You can even throw a couple of stripes in there. So yeah, it starts right here, goes to the ear, and then goes down, yep. Goes to the ear, and then goes down like this. Yep. All right, now our tiger doesn't have any teeth. I'm gonna add some teeth in here too. Like that. Good, good. 
Okay. We're also gonna add some stripes in a couple other spots. We can add some on the top of his head and then on like the back leg. We're just throwing stripes all over this tiger. You gotta make it look like a tiger, huh? So I'm gonna throw some stripes along the legs. And then on his belly, we'll have some that kind of come up in between the stripes <laughs> on his back. Like that. I'm just throwing all kinds of stripes in there. Okay, now you can color your stripes in with black marker, which I think I'm going to do, or you could do it with colored pencil. It's up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and color in my stripes right away so that I don't have to worry about adding them later. So any stripes that you have, you can go ahead and color in with the black. Now Ella just got a new tiger toy to play with. We have a bigger one. We don't know where that one is, but we have this cute little baby tiger too. That's not mine. That's Olivia. Oh, this is Olivia's. Well, Olivia has been playing with this tiger toy with Ella. Ella's been playing with the fox too. They're super fun. And so we've been taking those around the house and they even went on our trip with us. pretending to be tigers and foxes and all kinds of other fun animals. All right, so while you're coloring in your stripes, I'm gonna go ahead and start coloring in my tiger. Of course, I will be using some orange. Now, the main thing to think about when coloring our tigers is the part to leave white. So we wanna leave the belly white right here and we want to leave the bottom part of the head white. Okay, everything else is going to be orange. But you want to make sure not to color in a white section orange. So we're going to go ahead and use some colored pencils to add the orange parts, which of course will make the tiger really pop out. Look at all those stripes for your tiger. Get his front front legs a little bit more distance here. We're just gonna stretch these out a little bit, huh? He's got some dark stripes on him. And the other one. There we go. And his ear. Okay. The bottom of this. Well, that's just a dark section. I can just put a dot. There you go. Okay. All right, and now we color, color, color all of the orange. So remember, leave the belly white. Don't color in his belly. And then leave the bottom part of the face white too. Those are the two white sections of the tiger that we don't want to touch. The rest, orange, 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 orange. And black stripes, of course. So is this tiger yawning or is he growling? What do you think? Is he like yawning and stretching? Like, oh, I just woke up from my nap. Let me stretch out my back. I'm so tired. Wow. Or he's like, oh, arr, stay away. I'm mad. He's mad. You want the mad tiger? You did a growling tiger before, I remember. Don't color in his eye orange either. That's the other part to remember. So yeah, the face is the other part that you have to be kind of careful with. The top part of the face is orange, but the front here and the bottom part is white. So those are the things to remember when doing your tiger coloring.
The other thing that I didn't add are the claws, so you can always add the uh, claws coming out on the front part of the paws. So those would just be like with the black marker little hook kind of things that are coming out here on the front. And there you have it, a crouching tiger. Dun, dun, dun. Very cool. If you want to get really fancy, you can also add a little bit of shading. Sometimes I like to use like a reddish orange and pick areas that I can make just a little bit darker, like maybe the back side of the legs. I can shade with a little bit of orange, reddish orange, or especially like the leg that's behind could be a little bit darker because it's in shadow. So sometimes I like to color that in with a darker color. Same with the front leg. This one's in the back, so I might make it a little bit darker. So yeah, just the very top section of the nose and then all up here is orange. Yep. Yep, yep. And the under parts of the body I make shade a little bit darker with my reddish orange just to make it so that more interesting to look at. All right, masterpiece. Yes, crouching tigers. What about the white part? Of the white? Oh, don't forget. Do the uh, do this part orange right here. Here. Otherwise, that's about it. What else? And the eye. 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 What color do you want to make your eye? All right. We'll give your tiger a blue eye. Yellow. That's a good color. Black. That's okay. All right, Ella is going to add some yellow in her eye. Here, do you want to use this yellow? And then our crouching tigers will be all so done. The eye is cool. That is cool. All right, thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe and like our video down below. Bye.